Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D. In this video, we're gonna go through the text tool. Now, I use this tool quite a bit when I'm making infographics uh, professionally. And also, we're gonna be, I'm gonna show you some other cool things that I use the text tool for as well. So, strap yourself in. I, seat belt. <laughs> Let's just kind of go through the basics of the text tool and then we'll kind of go more and more into the advanced stuff. It will be a fairly short video. Now from here, let's just delete that. Shift A, text, bam. How do I edit the text? Tab tool and blender, brah. Oops, and there we go. So now we've created our text. Now if I come over here onto the right hand side, press the little A or the font button, we can do some cool stuff. So if we wanna increase the resolution of kind of like around the curves, we can with the resolution up here. The fill mode isn't very prevalent at the moment, front, back, nothing really happens. However, when we come over into the extrude, I believe, so like 0.1, you can see that it extrudes. Now, when we come up to the fill mode, front, back. Why are you not doing it? There we go. Back. So it removes the faces. So let's just go none. So now it goes all the way through. Come back, Braddy. Let's go into both. From here, what else we're we gonna show you? Just some other jazz resolution. Eight, nothing really changes with that. I don't really touch that one. Um, this is more the bevel kind of like around the corners. If I go into profile and we zoom right in, you can see that I can double click to set a keyframe in there. And oh gosh, let's increase the depth here. You can kind of see the rounded edge but then we can kind of go in and do some funky stuff like the corner of windows. And then we've kind of got this cool looking edge. So if you look at the edge there, it kind of matches what's here in the bottom right hand corner. <clears throat> um, I don't want that. Let's round that off, put it back. Let's go back to zero. The fonts here is where you can go ahead and add any of your fonts. Um, let's just quickly click on one and then go to bell and you can see that we've changed the font. This is predominantly all I leave as well. Um, the other thing that we can do now is I can go Shift A, add a, a Bezier curve. There we go, like so. And then we can go E to extrude, something like that. From here, I can select the text, come over into the modifiers, add modify, click on the curve button, bam! And now it follows the curve. So something else, I'll look at that. It went down as well. Sorry, I thought I was only on the one plane. What we can do now as well is we can convert this to a mesh. So if I press spacebar for search or F3, or if you're in a laptop, Fn F3, and I do convert to text. So if I just type in convert to mesh and I press tab, you can see now that it is a mesh. So there we go. That's some cool stuff that we can do. The other thing I like to do as well is make little signs with the text. So if I go shift A, um, text, and then what I normally do is export this as a decal. So if you've seen any of my live streams or you've seen some of the videos lately, uh, I have done this a few times. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out and keeps updating my content. <clears throat> Frog. From here, let me kind of go ahead and find a font. I found a free font, this one here, looking sick. What I'm going to do now is because I want to uh, render this out as a greeble, uh, no, as a greeble, as a decal, I'm gonna go to the material tab. I'm gonna add a new material, but what I'm gonna do is make, the, in, make it an emissive texture. So I'm gonna change from principle to emission. Strength of one is fine. Let's go shift A, we'll add in a camera and G to the Z. Let's move that up, <coughs> far out. Let's press numpad zero. Mind you, I've already got a camera. So I wanna to flip to the other camera. I'm gonna press control O to flip to our other camera. And you can see that it's kind of like in, um, if we actually had this extruded, you would be able to see it. We need to change this camera from actually perspective to orthographic. So the image is flat. So let's go ahead and select our camera settings here, type, this is gonna be our orthographic. With the orthographic scale, we can zoom in. Now, if I were to press F12 now, 
we see that we've got the, the gray background. That's not what we want. So let's press escape on that. Let's come over here into the render settings, straight to under film, transparent, F12, transparent PNG, bam. And then what you can do is you can apply it to buildings or signs or sci-fi pod races or roads. Cool stuff coming up. I can tell you that now. So if you haven't, once again, subscribe. Um, what else? That's about it for now. I just wanted to cover those basics off because uh, I've had a few questions about it, especially how I was doing this in the live stream. So until next time, if you got anything else you want, if you got anything else you would like to know, leave a comment below. And also subscribe buttons like here-ish. That looks weird. So that way. <laughs> it's late.